I get kind of confused. Like sometimes I need to use a completer. Sometimes I get a future. And then I do say that you can create a future with a constructor, but at the same time, you could also just mark a function as async and you have to actually say it's a future yes. coming back. How, mm -hmm. Wow, this is so confusing to me. Maybe you can help me to understand like, yes, what's uh, going on over here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, one thing just uh, about this. If you uh, mostly, and for if like 90% of your, if your uh, sync Dart will use uh, just mark a function as a sync and it will return a future and you good good to go. But when you have like, uh, <clears throat> when you need to, to return a future itself, like from a, a synchronous function or a synchronous function, you need just to return a future, not to return a value that is resolved from a future, which is like a different thing. And when you need re to return a future that is resolved to the value, uh, so that's uh, where you need like uh, to have the completer. You create a compiler, just a, like a constructor for for the future, as you said, and give it like uh, this is a value and this is the error, and here is the future, and it is returned from my function. Then the caller will await for the future from this compiler, and it has it has no nothing to do with uh, with using the the async call itself. So the basic answer: if you need to return a future, not the value itself, you could use the compiler. And to return a future, just use a sync uh, modifier for the function itself. Okay, okay, I think I got it.